Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. And this is what Ranrock has been finding people's pain. She took away the pain. Sebastian. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Sure. I'm, I'm ready to do what's in. needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Okay, I see your logic, but I hope you're uh, capable enough at your wine to keep yourself safe. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Okay. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. Of course. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Definitely. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Oh, we shall see. A few moments later. It's not like Natty to be late. She got she in trouble. She's going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh, I hope she didn't get in trouble. Oh, no. Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelia will show me where she was taken. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. <sighs> of course she got caught. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! Hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Yeah. I would assume this way. You found us. I knew you would realize I had. Rebellion. Speak to Mr. Ray. Hello, Hamora. He will tell you what you need. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got his wand. It was in here. Over here. I need your help. Yeah, one second. I mean, Rebellion. loot everything here. You good? Yeah. All right, now you. Mr. Rape, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. <laughs> well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Do your thing. Seem to be fine. All right, get Natty out, please. Hi. 
Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Mm-hmm. I tried sneaking my way in here, but, you know, didn't really work out too well. Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Yeah. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Exactly, I haven't been much help. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Yeah, I figured that it was going to be too easy. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. You're not going to really do anything. I'm sorry. Isn't this when Harry did the uh, Spectre Patronum? I think this is the area, right? You guys let me know if this is the right area. I think this is it. Bobby. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. It might take a lot of is convincing. This we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, Great. I suppose. They won't like this, but I'm trying to be positive because you are very much on edge right now. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's but, right. Probably it sounds we'll like you do. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. No, Papa, you got me we'll worried meet about with you. Them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fine. Well, I'm guessing they showed up. Hi. Don't hurt me. You could take her as a sacrifice. Damn. I'm kidding. But you want away. If they wanted us dead, we What do you <laughs> think you're doing here? Hero? They would have killed us Please. already. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three 
of your heads. <laughs> hmm. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means. Why can't yes. you just do that while they were there? Please, uh, help I'm, us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. I'm doing too much right do. now. <laughs> I know why she couldn't. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay. At least we got one to listen and he can go talk to the others. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Ooh, they wouldn't know, wouldn't they? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. Mm -hmm. We'll likely know it when we see it. I trust him. I don't know. But I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. Mm -hmm. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Okay. I'll let you know what I find. Like, Sebastian, I low-key don't want to talk to you after our last conversation. Like, after that last conversation, I low-key really don't want to talk to you right now. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. But... You're trying to do something for your sister right now, so we'll see how this goes. Sebastian! A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? Probably. If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say. But I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. 
I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Okay, so none of, well, besides Natty, none of these uh, two missions with Poppy and Sebastian are anything concrete. They're just kind of like setting up for like a big uh, plot within it, I guess. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Then why we are out here? I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are it's playing her. games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They- oh, Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. <laughs> of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, should we see why the triptych led us here? Bro, oh, you... You... Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Your impatience is Keep causing so out. many problems. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Yeah, his patient. Like, I get you're trying to save your sister, but like, you're you're burning bridges at this point. Because you're burning your bridge with Ominous, you're burning your bridge with your sister. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. And you. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I'd much rather that than you and your passive aggressiveness. Like me saying that is conversation. He's like, I know that. Like, that's part of the conversation. <laughs> you brought a negative aspect. I brought a positive one. I just passed into some from what it seemed like. Why weren't you attacking him? Deserved. Okay, yeah, bro. You, you starting to get aggressive. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Yeah. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the Rebellion. path. Rebellion! Let's keep going. Yeah, you're becoming a problem. I get why you're acting like this, but at the same time, this isn't helping anyone. Like, what you're doing is gonna continuously push people away, man. And you seem to be fine and borderline don't really care unless unless you get your way. It seems like I'm gonna have to make a decision when Ram it comes Rock's to him. gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's Rebellion. a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? How do you not know? <laughs> Ridiculous notions of ownership. <laughs> this must be it. Sebastian, wait, wait. For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? I've been Listen cautious. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. We can. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. 
I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. I think he's just doing- we I think he's just- and do this right, He's just, just saying that just so he can get what he wants. We have our work I don't trust that. Place. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Mm -mm. I think he's just playing along just to get what he wants. I don't think he really cares about anything that I'm saying right now. We'll see. I was long about Lodrock, thinking that he might betray us. But then again, I had two theories when it came to him. So far, so good. With him, he's Strong. going down a path that I said he kept going on. Okay. Spiders. How fitting. I'm, I'm sick of these spiders. A lot of boring math later. You know, I just thought of a theory. What if Sebastian eventually um, sides with the goblins, Rookwood and Ranrook, just trying to uh, cure his sister? I feel like that's a possibility. Another rune symbol. Rebellion. I should be fluent in runic language by now. <laughs> Could this be another area? Is Rebellion. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So you do just I. said that. Perhaps yeah. completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. He literally just said all that. I do not believe the journey this triptych took us on. Well, I'll believe it. So now we gotta put this. this. Yeah, we gotta. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. You broke something. Here we go. Yeah, I, I don't know either. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. It's Adora's memory. He regressed, didn't he? After you took his pain, he went back to it. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Or was this before you did it? This is gonna speak a lot towards Sebastian. Okay, Please that explains this. Seat. Okay. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. So we get to see her from her perspective. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. But what happened to him after that? It did indeed. Of course it did. It's Goblin Silver. I need something much bigger. All right. 
would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Not everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. And this is what Ramrock has been finding <laughs> people's pain. She took away the pain. Sebastian. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. She's, I don't follow. She's not dead. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. You're not listening. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. Yeah, we haven't seen One what happens when you do it. Care, If at all, if at all, you've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. We don't know what happens Please. after an extended amount of time of that happening. Talk to the keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Well, I don't think... Do you have to be dead to show up in a portrait like this? I don't know. 